Imagine as an antioxidant so powerful it could extend your life by decades. Well that's what's been demonstrated with carbon 60. In Wister rats it's extended a median lifespan by a staggering 90%. But first of all, let's cover some more studies on it and its mechanisms of action. So that famous study with it in rats, that was conducted back in 2012 and it was done over seven months. And interestingly, these rats, they didn't die of cancer in the end. They, they actually uh, died of um, pneumonia. So they're, they're expecting to die of cancer or organ failure. And I'll get onto the human equivalent dose of these rats in just a minute. But first, let's look at mice, which is less consistent. So when you've got mice with high oxidative stress, those are the ones that seem to get uh, an improvement in lifespan, but just less dramatic than the rats. But again, it seems to have some organ protective facets to it in mice, you know, reducing fibrosis as well as uh, preserving those neurons as well. Another example is with C. elegans, it can extend life by 11 to 14%, and that's through uh, stress resistance and modulation of pathways like NERF2, your antioxidant enzyme pathway, as well as uh, FOXO, that uh, genetic pathway, you've got SKN12. Another couple of animal examples is with cockroaches, when exposed to heat stress, they it prolong their life. This is a study back in 2016. There's another one with zebrafish, uh, embryos where it improved the survival rate of these embryos and it's believed to have done this through improved mitochondrial function which is very interesting because that is very much associated with human birth defects mitochondrial dysfunction some people label c60 as a super antioxidant as per molecule it can neutralize dozens of reactive oxygen species you know compared to vitamin c or e it's just way more powerful but on that subject of humans, there are currently no peer-reviewed large-scale studies on it. There have been some safety ones and it's been shown to be non-toxic when dosed with olive oil at and at uh, moderate doses. But some early stage data suggests reduced inflammation markers, improved mitochondrial function and better recovery. And this extends into anecdotal reports, people reporting back that they're having uh, better mental clarity, post uh, exercise you know better recovery from that but like i say these are anecdotal findings and the problem with that is there's a lot of uh, placebo effect uh, in there and that's why i'm more of a fan of following biomarkers especially ones of oxidative stress and seeing how that responds check out our 12 month rejuvenation program where every three months we look at 225 different biomarkers and get your future vitality optimized there's even a six month break clause if your situation was to change. So jumping over to my dosing protocol with carbon 60, I'm doing it twice a week at a modest dose of 1.5 milligrams each time. So that that the reason why I'm doing it twice a week is uh, carbon 60 has been shown to have a long half life in rats. They, they did it every five days. And so that dose of um, 1.5 milligrams each time or three milligrams a week is just below uh, the human equivalent dose uh, compared to rats, which is between three and a half and seven milligrams a week. And that dose may change over time. Some biomarkers I'm tracking closely. I'm awaiting for my results with true health. And one of them is methionine sulfone. So this is strongly correlated with oxidative damage. So over time, I should see this coming down, taking carbon-60. Another one is allantoin. It signals oxidative damage from uric acid. So I'll be keeping an eye on that. Then you've got myeloperoxidase, another oxidative damage marker. On top of that, you've got the metabolite 2PY and elevated levels of that uh, associated with, say, taking too much niacin and uh, inflammation of the heart. And so if my oxidative load is lower, then my PARP demand should be lower too and then indirectly helping lower 2PY. And if you follow this channel, I've been taking nicotinic acid as an NAD plus precursor for quite some time. It's a lot cheaper than say taking MNN, but it does have the drawback of elevating at 2PY. On top of that, I'll be keeping an eye on my biomarkers of mitochondrial stress, as well as ATP synthase, that being overexpressed via the uh, reactive oxygen species. And glutathione peroxidase is another relevant one too. If I'm supporting with C60, my endogenous antioxidant systems, I'm lowering that oxidative burden on my body, so therefore it can increase glutathione levels. Also, I'll be keeping an eye on inflammation, that being very much a weak point of mine. So uh, C60 can help downregulate NF-kappa B, that inflammatory signaling pathway, therefore lowering IL-6, TNF-alpha and IL-1-beta. 
as well as it can, it can also have tumor suppressing effects. You've got the gene P53, so that's involved in apoptosis of the cells. So indirectly, it can even help with senescence balance. Then you've got other indirect pathways like telomere stability and SIRT1 activation. On top of this, you've got reduced glial activation, so reducing neuroinflammation. And of course, uh, you've got the reduced organ fibrosis and organ ages is an area I'm following closely at the moment. So I get my carbon 60 from Swiss Chems. I've been using them for around two and a half years now and very reasonably priced products. I did my independent testing on one of their epitalon vials and that came in. That was legit. Also, every single order I've had from the US, I've never had any issues with it arriving to me and I've had a lot of deliveries, no issues. And I think carbon 60 has the potential to be a really good value for money anti-aging supplement. So what, at $45 and that lasts me 15 weeks and because yes there, there needs to be more human studies on it but it's definitely well tolerated that is not in question but it's just how effective is it and you know it's inconsistent across animal species but certainly people we, we live in the real world we don't live in a lab and more and more we have to deal with oxidative stress so if you like that video then check out this one on methylene blue this powerful antioxidant also helps with oxygen carrying capacity and I designed a really good stack with it using uridine monophosphate and acetyl-L-carnitine. Thanks for watching. See you next time.